Almost on its own, Tesla has proven that electric vehicles can be desirable, combining outstanding performance and high-tech interiors with a usable driving range. You want to know more about the Tesla Berlin Gigafactory, then keep watching this video. Welcome back to our channel, where we give you the latest information and updates on the tech space. Subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you will be notified anytime we post a new video on how to make money online. Now let's get back to the video. With the company's official launch in 2018, the battery technology and electric powertrain advantage of Tesla was unveiled. The company is set to set new trends with its electric cars, which are perceived to be more fun, quicker, and convenient than gasoline cars. Tesla has so far commenced production of these electric vehicles at various gigafactories, two of which are the Gigafactory in Shanghai and Berlin. Guests at Tesla's Giga Festival in Germany recently had the chance to walk through the magnificent doors of the Gigafactory Berlin. According to a visitor's view of the plant, Tesla Giga Berlin wants to build a Model Y every 45 seconds. This factory's production capacity is quite amazing. What allows Mega Berlin to have such a large capacity? Do you have any idea how many Tesla plants there are or where they are located? Tesla has four fully functioning facilities, three in the United States and one in China, which includes the Tesla factory in Fremont. Gigafactory 1 is located in Nevada, Gigafactory 2 is located in Buffalo, New York, Gigafactory 3 is located in Shanghai, China, and Gigafactory 4 or Giga Berlin will be operational shortly in Germany. The Gigafactory Berlin's production is significant, not only for the introduction of Tesla's new Model Y into the market, but also relevant to its expansion in Europe. The production of the new Model Y will be done on an entirely new platform. The factory is expected to manufacture Model Y vehicles, in addition to millions of battery cells. Tesla Giga Berlin, according to certain reports, is currently ramping up production this year. To begin with, Tesla Giga Berlin aims to create 10,000 cars each week, helping to accelerate the global adoption of electric vehicles. In order to perfect the manufacture of the Model Y, Tesla Giga Berlin will employ a variety of new technologies. The facility will initially produce 5,000 cars per week, but the business plans to progressively boost manufacturing capacity to 10,000 vehicles per week. Tesla's CEO Elon Musk revealed a lot of interesting details during the GigaFest on October 9. The company's goal is to produce cars every 45 seconds, among other things. Our staff is backed up by a robotic army that welds rivets and assembles car parts with pinpoint accuracy and speed. Tesla wrote, every 45 seconds, we produce one car body. According to most estimates, if the facility achieves its goal of a 45-second production cycle, it will be able to produce 10,000 automobiles each week. Giga Berlin will be able to produce approximately 520,000 cars per year as a result. However, it should be noted that the facility will not be able to accomplish this production capacity immediately, and it will take at least a year. Owning an electric vehicle is not only a choice to be environmentally friendly, but it is also stylish, which plays a significant part in their distribution, thanks to the Tesla company's strategy. In 2021, Tesla is projected to be able to build at least 750,000 cars, and the start of production at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas will be a major changer in the industry. Second, during the launch party at Giga Berlin, Tesla unveiled the new structural battery pack. Mass production of Fortis Xadi cells will begin there in late 2022. Tesla has invited local citizens who support the manufacturers coming to the region for Gigafest at Giga Berlin on October 9, according to Elon Musk. The company divulged many intriguing features and showed interesting items that will be in the Model Y made there, among other things, during a tour of the plant. Tesla displayed a Fortis Xadi cell structural battery pack. A car's structure is an important factor in its efficiency and performance. This is why Tesla is putting so much effort into improving its car structure. During 2020's Battery Day, the business said that it will improve the design of its vehicles by implementing a new battery architecture and a really revolutionary technique to manufacturing auto parts with a new battery form factor. Tesla is able to enhance the battery pack's density which allows the battery to be positioned more efficiently, 
removing redundant components inside the package. Because the car's chassis is made up of two one-piece molded sections for the front and rear, the battery may be put in the middle, substantially simplifying manufacture. The Tesla Fortis Xadi battery cells are a much-anticipated Tesla product because they are expected to lower production costs, which is crucial for the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. Tesla has already ordered and is receiving a large amount of equipment for large-scale battery manufacture in Austin and Berlin, according to Musk. Despite the unanticipated circumstances, Tesla will not be able to start producing Fortis Xadi battery cells right away. Musk intends to have a successful year next year, manufacturing between 50 and 100 gigawatt hours of battery cells per year by the end of the year. Tesla Giga Berlin devoted attention to the color design of electric automobiles in addition to developing parts inside the body. Tesla Giga Berlin recently unveiled two new dazzling colors for the German-made Model Y. Visitors to Giga Fest saw one exceptional blood-red body and one new deep blue body at the factory. While a khaki color was not visible in the third, scenes would be available in a variety of colors. According to a Twitter account, two Model Y bodies were painted in new colors, which was one of the noteworthy observations. A body painted in blood red, a color previously specified by the company's CEO, Elon Musk. Another Twitter user said that it is impossible to capture the whole depth of color in a shot, but it is likely to be quite amazing. A body painted in a new blue color that appears to be a very deep blue at closer inspection appears to be incredibly voluminous and multifaceted. In addition to these two hues, khaki or a color similar to khaki is planned to be offered by Giga Berlin. In an episode of the Third Row Tesla podcast, Elon Musk first described Giga Berlin's innovative paint shop. He appeared to be really enthusiastic about it. He informed the third row that the automobiles will receive three coatings of paint from Giga Berlin's paint shop. Tesla Giga Berlin estimates manufacturing to begin no later than December 2021 at that factory. The final environmental permission for the construction of Giga Berlin is still pending. Despite the fact that the vehicle plant has already been completed with earlier permissions, manufacturing will begin as soon as Giga Berlin receives final approval, which Tesla anticipates to happen no later than December. Tesla's first cars built in Germany might be ready as early as next month, according to CEO Elon Musk, who spoke at the Giga Berlin opening ceremony on October 9. This will be the start of the company's vehicle's widespread penetration throughout Europe, the company will attain the planned volume no sooner than one year after starting by progressively growing output. The first few months of production are enjoyable, but the bulk production phase is the most difficult. Musk stated that reaching volume manufacturing will take longer than the factory's construction. According to the company's CEO, the facility will be able to produce around 520,000 automobiles each year or 10,000 per week on average. Tesla anticipates receiving the final construction permission for Giga Berlin in the coming weeks. The three-week discussion of the objections to the factory's development, which ended on October 14, is still going on. The Ministry of the Environment, according to the authorities, would take time to review the outcomes of the public hearings before making a final decision. Around November, this is predicted to happen. Several government officials have previously stated that Tesla is more likely to gain final permission. Last but not least, while there are still obstacles to overcome before the Giga Berlin facility can begin operations, it is hoped that this factory will be allowed by the German government in the near future, allowing it to meet the target fast. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, if you did, don't forget to like it and tell us in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on so you will never miss any of the amazing stuff we have in store for you.